Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again. Welcome to episode 82 of the uh, Football Manager series here on the Chesnoy Gaming Channel. We're in the January transfer window today. If you're watching on YouTube though, skip forward two or three minutes to where I actually put the video, or where I actually put the video, where I actually load the uh, the save up in uh, in the background. That'll be where we get going properly. I, uh, I need to put the little YouTube video live to let people know that we're going live over on Twitch, but I have just gone live, so let me do that now, and I'll be with you YouTube people in a couple of minutes. Uh, Twitch people, hello, I'm with you now. So uh, let me just put this little notification video live, and then we'll be able to continue on. We are, it's the 20th of December as we head in right now, so uh, we are going to uh, be spending some money, or looking to spend some money. That's the plan at least. We'll see how well it goes in the next couple of hours. Let me just put that little video live and then we'll be alright. I think Nightbot's already on the way in. Should be. Let me te check by doing a command. Hey! The, the channel is not live. Uh, pretty sure it is. And Nightbot's in at least. <laughs> it says the channel is not live, but I've been live for... It's probably because I've been live for less than a minute, isn't it? Oh no, I've been live for like a minute twenty. Oh well. Screw you, Nightbot. You don't know what you're talking about. Hello, I am live. You can see me. I can see me live on my Twitch channel. So I must be live. If you can see me, say hello, Ches in the chat or something, so that I know that you can see me and it's not just me seeing myself. Go paranoid now. Ah, good. <laughs> Thank you for confirming. <laughs> I got all I got all paranoid then for no reason whatsoever. Right, let me tweet out live now. It's the January transfer window. Come help me buy some players at Football Manager. Is that a new sub or a resub? Jay Moore has subscribed for seven months in a row. Thank you very much, Jody. Very much appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Seven months in a row. Yeah, sub hype. Sub hype. Keeps us on 111, though, I think. I don't think it boosts us up one. No, it doesn't. We're still on 111. Still on 111. How long have I been live? We might. We may just hit 30, uh, not 30, 28,000 followers tonight. I normally go up about 30 or 40 on an on an evening when I'm streaming Football Manager. It goes up more when I stream FIFA, but I want to stream FM. Uh, the channel grows slower, but I enjoy it more. Uh, Twenty, And we are 28 followers away from 28,000. So apparently 28 is the number. We're 28 followers away from 28,000, and on the 28th of May this year, I'll be 28. Illuminati confirmed. I'd never even thought of that. I am 28 on the 28th of May. Uh huh. I like little things like that. When numbers correlate like that, it makes my OCD happy. So I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. For no reason whatsoever. I need a tissue. I need, I need a tissue. Glad you enjoyed the Chelsea video, Meme Machine. It seems to have gone down very well indeed, so I'm hoping that uh, it will be well received for the uh, longevity of the season series. I, I don't know what positions I'm looking at yet, Chicken. I, I need to evaluate the squad because we've just been trundling through so far. And we've still got a couple of games. I'll load the save up now. We've still got a couple of games before uh, we actually make any decisions. So, Well, hello, fat bastard. Well, hello. <sighs> because we just played Chelsea and now we've got Arsenal and then we've got Chelsea again. Yay! we just come out of a... A dodgy period of form, inconsistent period of form. 
to get a 2-1 win against Everton. A really bad defeat against CSKA Moscow. I was distraught at that. But we got a 2-1 win against Everton. A 1-0 win away at Newcastle. And then we drew 2-2 at home against Chelsea. Despite leading 1-0 and 2-1. So now we have Arsenal. A week later. And then we've got Tuesday. Or Chelsea on the Tuesday, sorry. And then we're into January with the game against Watford. And then we've got Arsenal again in the FA Cup. Oh, not the nicest run of fixes at all. But we'll power our way through. We'll power, we'll power our way through. Power hour. That was for some reason hard to say. If you like pina colada, get me caught up in the news. Uh, I'm not planning on doing any GTA videos, Chubby Bunny, no. Sorry. Consortium target an Aston Villa takeover. Ah, oh, nice of them to put an embargo on transfers as we're heading into the January transfer window. Perfect timing, well done. Congratulations, Aston Villa board. You're 20th in the league and you've just put a transfer embargo on yourself. Great idea. How much is Hazard worth on this save? I am not sure. Probably about 60 million, I would have thought. Tadic is still out for another two weeks. One me is going to be a little bit longer than that. Between three days and two weeks. That's not very accurate, is it? Fraser Forster, though, is back in full training, which could be huge. Uh, a right back. I tell you what, he's only got six strength, though, which isn't... Too good, but for 18 years old, there's some decent stats. We'll get a scout report on him. He could be a promising youngster. Uh, yeah, you want me to check? Let's have a look. Who's the just? We'll have a look and see who's the most popular player, most expensive player in the world. Messi is the most expensive player in the world at 71. Then Neymar on 62. Then Suarez on 61. Ronaldo, Aguero, Hazard is apparently valued at 48.5 million. So despite his poor season in real life, he's still pretty damned good on FM. Which is unsurprising, really. Messi, though, 20 finishing, 20 dribbling, 20 agility, 20 balance, 20 passing, 20 technique, 20 decisions, determination, flair and vision. Are you sure you're good enough, Leo? Are you sure you're good enough? Luis Suarez has scored 18 goals as well so far this season. I mean, playing as Barcelona, unavailable for the next match. I don't know why that would be. Oh, he's not available. He's not allowed to play till January, is he? That's why. In La, in La Liga, he was uh, under under the embargo, wasn't he? We weren't allowed to register anyone until January. One goal is four assists, though, in Europe for him. If you want to cheat, why are they fifth? Why are they fifth in La Liga? What on earth? Can't have a squad as good as Barcelona's and then be fifth in the league. That just don't make sense, does it? My Guan Famalam, how's it going, Jimmy? Yeah, I thought this guy could potentially have, potentially have the potential of uh, being a worldy right back. I really like the look of this guy. I may pick him up on the cheap and just send him out on loan for a couple of years and see how he grows. I really like the look of uh, Borja San something, began with E. Watford have withdrawn their offer. I didn't know Watford had put in an offer. Borja San uh, Emeterio. Borja San Emeterio. Borja San Emeterio. Uh, we're Southampton, da bear. We are playing as Southampton. Okay, we just get a draw against Dagenham and Redbridge. Hooray. We do have Nyamba. You're right. But this Spanish kid looks better. And I didn't buy Nyamba. I didn't necessarily want Nyamba.
Uh, almost put Fraser Force. I will actually start playing Fraser Forster sooner rather than later. Uh, Cedric can start. I'm going to start my strongest possible side against Arsenal. And then... Ryan Bertrand's in some good form, actually. And then play a weaker-ish side against Chelsea. Maybe. Do we start Shane Long on the right? I'm going to, because he's been in great form. Um... We'll play Angel Correa at Cam, and then Jay Rodriguez on the left. Yeah, maybe. Or do I put Stephen Davis at Cam? Let's put Davis at Cam. And then at striker, it has to be Charlie Austin. We'll put Fraser Forster on the bench, though, which means Gazaniga can go back to the under-21s. Cucu Martina, Alvarez Balanta. And then some midfielders. Jordi Classy and Oriol Romeu. And then a wide option, which would be Correa. And then a striking option, which would be Graziano Pella. You don't have Nando's in Belgium? No! How do you live without Nando's? Well, I'm just going to calmly say... Whoop. Media have been on your backs for ages. Go and prove them wrong. I'm going to need to turn that down, am I, before I get deafened? No, I haven't got sounds on. Here we go. I'll turn it down a little bit so I don't deafen myself. Oh, Guidiora strike earlier. My fucking God. What a hit. What a hit. That was a ridiculously good goal. As was Paye's free kick, by the way. I was out when uh, the goal went in. I was on my way to going out for dinner with family. But I've seen a vine and I tweeted it out and it, it's got like 50 retweets and whatever. It's actually gone down. It's actually like one of my most retweeted and liked tweets for a while. But go on, Jay. Oh, oh Shane Long might get there. Square it. Oh. But the, the free kick. I'll put the vine in the chat. Paye's free kick. Holy shit. Honestly, it was out of this world. I've not seen a free kick that good in a very long time. The movement on it was ridiculous. Who would I like to be the next Chelsea manager? I'd probably like Diego Simeone, but we're going to get Antonio Conte, I think. I think we're getting Conte. Now, uh, we went to Byron Burger for um, dinner. Byron Burger. Oh, no, don't tell me he's going to... Never mind. Man like Pye pushing Mahrez for Player of the Year. You're not wrong. Although, I think Mahrez will probably get it. Depending on what happens in the last ten games of the season. But Mahrez will probably pip him to it, I would have thought. One would have thought that Riyad Mahrez will get the award ahead of Dimitri Payet. Coutinho better than Payet? Mm, I'm not so sure. Coutinho is very good, but Payet is unbelievable. No! Why have you given that penalty away? <sighs> we were having a good game till then. You prick. Conte to Cambridge. Yeah, Conte to Cambridge. Save it! Oh, he went the right way and he nearly did. Never mind. Pae doesn't need to have another good season to be better. Pae was phenomenal in France for the past two years. And he's come over here and done just as well, if not better. I'm actually going to check his wiki and see what his stats were like. I know you can't really judge a, uh, a player by their uh, stats, but... Oh, that's a lovely ball. Oh. oh, it might still come to stay there! Yes! I don't know why the keeper didn't come and get it, but I'm pleased he didn't. Yeah, he's been phenomenal. He's actually been even... Oh, it was at Lille that he really was had his best season. At Lille in 2012-13, he was really good. Then moved to Marseille... And had okay seasons, but this year he's just been 
exquisite. And he's not he's not been fit for the whole season either. He's been involved in 14 goals, either scoring or assisting, in 20 games. 20 games, 14 uh, goal scenarios. 8 goals, 6 assists. Oh no, 8 goals, it's not even assists, that's cut. Uh, 8 goals in 20 games, 6 appearances in the cup and 3 goals as well. I don't know why it doesn't show assists. I might have to check the, the web, uh, West Ham website. Unless there's... Oh, they've scored again, bollocks. Look at assist charts, Premier League assist charts. Uh, Paye has seven assists. Eight goals, seven assists in 20 games. Eight goals, seven assists in 20 games. That's ridiculous. Mesut Ertzel, by the way, 18 assists this season. 27 games played, scored five, got 18 assists. That's redonkulous. We can win this, or at least bring it back. Uh, I think. I think you get ads when when you first load up a stream, Josh, but when I run ads myself. I don't think I don't think you get them, but when you first load up a stream, uh, you'll get an ad. But I think if I manually select an ad, then uh, you wouldn't get it. Come on, Charlie! Counter attack. He's beaten Pem Ertesacker. Go on, Jay. I need a top quality ball to Charlie Austin here, please, or someone in the box. No! God damn it! Damn it. Hutch tweeted out about pina coladas and I've got the fucking song stuck in my head. If you like pina coladas and get caught in the rain. I need to change things up, but I don't really want to change personnel. Let's actually go to a higher. Um, try and play a little bit wider. Up the tempo a bit. Be a bit more expressive. For size goal was quality, Sarah. Really good overhead kick. Oh, it's gone through. Go on, Charlie. Bury that. Yes. Charlie Austin, ladies and gentlemen, cannot help but score goals. They've made a couple of changes. I might be forced into a couple of changes here. Charlie Austin has been so good for us this year. I'm going to take uh, Shane Long off. Bring... Ah, oh, shit. Bring Jordi Classy on and then put James Ward-Prowse wide right. Might have to take Victor Wanyama off soon as well. Would I take him at Cambridge? Maybe. Probably. I don't know. It's, it's hard to know the like the, the standard of football. Don't score. Oh, fuck off, Arsenal. There's uh, a guy from Dun, um, Dunfermline, Pete. I think his name's Fasai El Baktoui. For size something. For size El Bactui. Oh look, I'll put his name in the chat. That's his name. For size El Bactui. Or Bactawi. Tweet you the guy. Oh what? Um, Bactui's girl. I'll, I'm going to have to... I'll have to go through it via Sarah's profile because I can't find. I won't be able to find it otherwise. Uh, here you go. I'll just link you to tweet, Peach. Uh, 
Actually, I'll just reply to it. I'll tweet you it. I'll reply to the tweet and at you at it. You can. Sorry, it's playing in the background whilst I'm loading the thing up. Oh, we lost 3-2 against Arsenal. That's unfortunate. I'm going to assertively say you were unlucky there. We played very well. More chances. Didn't do well with possession, but it's a shame we've lost that. Because we, we're not far away from the European spots. Only a handful of points. We can go on a run of form towards the end of the season. We might be... Oh, cool. Stephen Davis up for four weeks. Great. Uh, he'll learn from that and come back from it. Uh, pretty bad one. Hoping we can hang on until half time. People read too much into it. Read. Oh, Jesus. Blackburn won a game. Go on, lads. Middlesbrough. They beat Middlesbrough who are third. How have you done that? Blackburn down in 21st. And they just go and beat Middlesbrough 3-1 casually. All right. Let's do it yourselves. Uh, there is a face pack command. Let me put it in the chat for you. FM patches. Oh, never mind. Chicken beat me to it. He's on point. He's always on point. You broke your finger today playing football. Unlucky fam. That's painful. Fisal El back to A. Uh, yeah, he plays for Dunfermline. They're in Scottish League One. But he's been tearing up Scottish League One. Like, just destroying. Sam Gallagher gets another goal. Actually, I'll show you him on here. I'll show you him on here. Look, these are his stats on FM. He's about a League 2 quality player, you would have thought, maybe. Top end of the conference, League 2. Judging by his FM stats. In Scottish, they're top of the league in Scottish League 1, Dunfermline. But he scored, like, almost 30 goals, I think. Uh, no, Kelly Thistle are in the SPL, aren't they? Kelly Thistle are in, Kelly Thistle are in the SPL. Who's he left us for Inverness and he's been doing okay? Yeah, I I think like mid like lower league Scottish football is about the same as non league in the UK. But still twenty six goals in any league is still good, regardless. Especially when you're scoring overhead kicks or dribbling around three or four players at a time, like he has been this season. Every time he scores a, a brilliant goal, Sarah tweets me a video of it, and he's like, look, he's done it again. Uh, another big game for players today. Everyone remains calm. We're confident. Every single manager would love a player like him. Stephen Davis, yes. Uh, match is not about Bertrand. We'll miss Stephen Davis. Uh, not going to comment on that. Final advance. I'll nip down the Abbey tomorrow and get a scout out. So we're doing alright goal scoring wise. Okay. Jimmy Spencer's goal yesterday was pretty good. In like the 91st minute to get us a point away at the top of the league, Northampton. As Cambridge lose to Barnet. Fuck's sake. Barry Core. Very cool. Where are Cambridge in the league? Twelfth. Uninspiring. That's uninspiring. West Brom sacked Tony Pulis. Oh. Well, that's not gone well. Gabriel Paulista. He's transfer listed. Hmm. Scout player. Why would they transfer this Paulista? I don't really need a centre back. Really... Yeah, he would be a good sign in. What, where does he rank amongst everyone else? Yeah, we bought Balanta. We don't really need... Is he only really... Th I thought he was better than that. I mean, we could sell Yoshida or Gardos. Although Gardos is still injured for another month. Could maybe sell 27-year-old uh, Maya Yoshida to bring in Paulista. What is Yoshida valued at? 3.3. Bring in Paulista. But he'd want first-team football and I wouldn't be able to give it to him. Because Virgil van Dijk and Jose Fonte are better. 
Pardon me. Ponte's aging, yeah, but he's not aged. He's only 32. His stats are starting to drop, though. Hmm. But he's so good. Jose Fonte is so good. And will be for at least another season. At least another season. It's mad. The amount of players that, sat, that went to Southampton when they were in League One and they just have come with them all the way through the ranks. It's ridiculous. They've sold a couple on, obviously, like Schneidlin, Lalana, Ricky Lambert. But they're so good. This is our game in hand. If I'm not even going to say if we beat Chelsea, because we won't, but... Never mind. <laughs> if we beat Chelsea, we could move up two or three places. Chelsea away, though. We've got a point against him. Do I start Fraser Forster? Not against Chelsea. I can't start him for the first time against Chelsea, can I? I'd start him in the cup, but... We've got Arsenal in the cup. Start target, we'll go with Bertrand. Mmm, one young is not... Oh, fuck it. I get so OCD about numbers. Like, he's got 90 fitness, which is making my brain go, don't play him. Play someone with more fitness. But someone with more fitness might not be better. Sadio Mane's back in full-time training. Go on, then. Go on, then. Go on, then. Why am I... Selecting Tadic, so I want Joe Rodriguez. Go on in, go on in. It's like that vine of Skepta and <laughs> Graham Souness. Go on then, go on then. Uh, Virgil van Dijk on the bench. Shane Long, where are you? There you are. Hello, Shane. You're right. Correa, and then we'll put another defender on the bench. We'll go Matthew Target. Unpopular opinion: Ebra is overrated. Have a word, Pete. Ebra overrated. Fuck off. He was never been overrated. He was world fucking class, mate. Tore shit up at Barcelona. Tore shit up at AC Milan. He's tearing shit up at PSG. Admittedly, the French League isn't anywhere near as good, but he does it in Europe as well. People agree with Peachy. Have a word, Ebra overrated. No, never been. Ebra is fucking incredible. I won't have it any other way. <sighs> Alright, Pato, chill out. Oh, careful, fucking hell. Just gifting a possession back. Turn on, look for the turn off, look for the overlap. Turn off, play out our defence as well. No, thank you. I might actually go a little bit more direct. Have I ever been to Bradford? Yeah, I've been to Bradford. I'll go more direct. Valanta. Jose Fonte. <laughs> we wonder up at the bridge. I know. I know you're not saying his shit, but. He is as good as everybody. He is as good as everybody says. He is that good. He just is. Uh, I don't listen to the BBK gang. No, not really. I've got Jamie's latest album, and like when a when I see a song pop up on YouTube, or like pop up on Twitter, I'll listen to it and enjoy it. But I don't actively seek out grime. I enjoy it when I listen to it, but it's not my go-to genre. You're not having it.
I just, I, I, I really hope Ibra does come to the Prem before he gets too old. I doubt it will happen. He's always, he's always said that. Um, He's always said that he doesn't need, doesn't want to come to England to because everyone said, oh, you need to prove yourself in England, and he's it's always made him go, well, I'm not going to go to England then because it's Ebra and he's got the attitude, but he's good enough to have that attitude. He doesn't need to prove himself in England. Go on, whoa, no, nearly two. Uh, I haven't bought the Keep Up EP. I haven't heard it, Giardino. I haven't bought any of JJ's music. Tell them not to get complacent. Watch me say don't get complacent. Watch us concede after like three minutes. Let assertively say concentrate. I always say stuff assertively. It's just a habit. What do I think of Benitez at Newcastle? I think Newcastle have done fucking well to get a manager of Rafa Benitez's stature in. Considering the state of that club over the past two or three years... They've done really, really well to get someone like Rafa Benitez in. They must be paying him big money. As far as I'm aware, he has a clause in his contract as well that if they do get relegated, he's out. he can leave his contract. So he won't have to manage in the championship. He can just leave and get another job. But I'm sure he wouldn't want a relegation, another relegation on his uh, CV. A lot of people say that Rafa's always been at the top level, but he hasn't. He started off his career at the um, at the very bottom. Uh, well, not the very bottom, but, uh, you know, at smaller clubs in Spain, like Rai Valladolid and Osasuna, and he got relegated a couple of times. And then he got promoted into La Liga a couple of times with a couple of other clubs, and that's when he got the reputation. Then went to Valencia, did phenomenally well there. Went to Liverpool, did really well there. Went to Inter, did okay and then came to Chelsea and obviously won the Europa League with Chelsea. I might take Victor Wanyama off. I am terrified of him getting a red card. I put Angel Correa on as well. Rafa, are you mad? Rafa has never been good. Have a fucking word. Rafa's a fantastic manager. Won La Liga with Valencia. Won the Champions League with Liverpool. Won the Europa League with Chelsea. Rafa's won almost everything there is to win. Rafa's never been good. Have a word with yourself. People like to hate on Rafa, but he is an exceptional manager. Rafa's an exceptional manager. Now, bail to Man United won't happen. Why would, why would he leave Zinedine Zidane's Real Madrid to go to Louis van Gaal's Man United? Have a word. Not as good as Klopp. He's better than... Well... He's arguably better than Klopp. He's won more than Klopp. Klopp's just not been a manager as long. Oh my god, we're going to make it two. We actually just made it two. We're 2 0 up at the bridge. What is going on? Boys. Charles Austin's got a bruised head. Rafa's never won the conference. How can you say he's good? <laughs> Wait, that was phenomenal. We just beat Chelsea at the bridge. And there's me going before the game. Oh, I'm not going to say if we beat Chelsea because we never will and I'll jinx myself. And we only went and got a 2-0 win. Lads, yes. No, oh, it's only five to eight days. I panicked. I saw five to eight and thought it said weeks. Uh, the supporters seem to respond well to your attacking intent today. Something we can... Uh, uh, yes. 
We put together quite a run of form away from home. Uh, keep my secrets to myself. Quite adv incredible victory. We we're excellent throughout. I'm very proud of the team. He's a very good player. Cedric close to triggering claws. That's fine. Oh shit! Chelsea sacked Hood Hiddink. What? We beat Chelsea and they've sacked Gus Hiddink. Were well, they on a really bad run of form? Shit, they are on a really bad run of form. That's early though to sack Hiddink. Can't sack him on the eve of the transfer window after just after a run of five games in the BPL without a win. That's a bit. It's a bit hasty. I'm not going to go to Chelsea. Jesus, we've only, we've only just started this Southampton safe. I'm not then just going to be like, oh, let's go to Chelsea. Palacio, he'd be good. <laughs> Moyes eyes Chelsea job. Okay. Good luck, Dave. Sadu Keita. I tell you what, say okay, I won't buy him, but I'm curious to see how good they reckon he is. Oh great, the game against Arsenal is going to be televised. Woo. If you like Peter Colada, get caught in the ring. Unpopular opinion, the fine bros are bay. No, the fine bros are not bay. Apparently say would be an incredible an incredible signing. I'm so tempted to get a 35-year-old Seydou catering on a free. Like, really tempted. He's playing every week for him in Serie A. What do you think? Who have we got in that position? Oriol Romeu. Jordi Classy. It would free up James Will Prowse to push a little bit for a little bit further forward. James Will Prowse could maybe play a, a like right mid instead. That's the point. What was he on? No, he's only on twenty four grand wage wise. He's he. I don't want to. I'm, I'll offer them nothing. Asking price four hundred k. I can sign him on a free at the end of the season, or I can sign him now for nothing, or for four hundred k ish. You want four hundred k? I don't want to pay four hundred k. I'll give you. I'll give you a hundred. And then you can have another 300 over 48 months. Ah, <laughs> you're dickheads. You're going to get like £5 a week. I'll give you £5 a week. Lol. Hopefully he doesn't ask for much wage-wise. 53,000? Fuck off, Seydou. You're supposed to be a cheap, a cheap bargain. You, I'm not going to give you double the fucking wages. A lock-in rotation... You're on 24, how's 27? Bang. Oh, you're miles away. Sorry, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> I know it's been recommended to me. Because we don't, we don't have that large a wage budget. As you can see. I can alter it. I can adjust the budget and maybe give myself a little bit more. What would that give me? 113. 162. Not really going to need that though. Interest building regarding... Who's the favourite? Bielsa? Meh. Pay him in a curly whirly. I could pay him in curly whirlies. I'd love to get paid in curly whirlies. I'd be fucking huge. But... Getting paid in curly whirlies would be brilliant. Messi wins the Ballon d'Or. Shock. Messi wins World Player of the Year. Shock. Team of the Team of the Year: Casillas, Lam, Ramos, Boateng, Marcelo, James, De Bruyne, Cristiano Ronaldo, Juan Mata. Apparently. Okay. Uh, Messi and Suarez. Depay gets Golden Boy. No, it should, it should have been. Oh, I wish they'd given it to James to James Rodriguez. I looked at the name James Rodriguez and they said that. I wish they'd given that to James Ward Prowse. Although 
to be fair, Memphis to play 10 goals in 15 games. Yeah, I can understand why they gave it to him instead. Carlos Gill gets goal of the month. They lost to Villa, are you serious? You beat everyone else by like two or three goals to nil and then you lose to Villa. Well done, City. Yeah, Matt does always seem to get awards. What the hell is a Curly Whirly? You need to Google Curly Whirly, Sarah. You, you guys in America don't have good chocolate. Or like good sweets, good candy. We do, over here. Curly Whirlies are the best. I'm going to start Fraser Forster against Arsenal in the Cup. Just to see how he gets on. And if he can play well. Because Stakelenberg's kept 10 clean seats and only conceded 19 goals in 20 games. I mean, yeah, we did concede 5 against CSK, but it wasn't his fault. Right, so it's the 1st of January. Time to offer Pella around. I don't want you, Graziano. He's wanted by... Udinese are majorly interested in a transfer. How about seven and a half million? Is there anyone else I want to offer out? May I, may, maybe Maya Yoshida? No, because Yoshida's been quite happy to play rotation football and not be that, that involved. I don't want to replace him with someone that's then going to be biting on my ear being like, Why am I not playing? Why am I not playing? Why am I not playing? The word candy is nearly as bad as the word moist. <laughs> you love moist curly whirlies. You love moist candy. <laughs> moist. Moist. You offer me Dennis Appiah. All right, Dennis. No thanks. How are Cairn getting on in ninth? Yeah. Doing all right. Doing all right. Do I prefer Nando's or KFC? Nando's or KFC. Have a word. Nando's, hands down. Nando's or KFC. Have a word with yourself. Have a word with yourself, sunshine. Curly Whirlies are the one. Actually, I don't know whether they're the one. They are still very good, though. No, don't put Skittles in beer. Put Skittles in vodka. Oh, Skittles vodka so good. Mm, Skittles vodka. Scout Christian Benteke... So sure about Christian Benteke. Uh, key player, no, because then he would demand more football. Uh, sure, no. Structured shape, no. I'm quite happy to stay on wherever we're set at now. Fluid, I think. It's time for a New Year's Day game of football. New Year's Day game of football, yes. Oh, actually, we play on the second, never mind. Only enter the market for the right player and made me jump. Hey everyone. <laughs> I love that. I can't wait for Civil War. Two weeks until Batman vs Superman as well. Get fucking hyper. Less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. We had a one pound donation from Mixo. It says, hey, I'm black, I know good chicken. KFC's better than Nando's, but fabulous chicken is better than KFC. <laughs> GG. I'm not even trying to butter up the uh, trying to butter up my mods. Thank you for the donation though, bro. Appreciate that. Matching stereotypes. Have you had Nando's though? That's the question, Mix. Have you had Nando's? Have you been to the UK and had Nando's? Do you have Nando's in the States? I don't know whether you do. Even if you do, I don't know whether it would be anywhere near as good as it is over here or in Portugal. Two weeks, don't forget to pick me up. 
Oh yeah, I'm picking. I'm gonna. I go out and buy a Mercedes, and then I'm gonna have to pick you up in the Ford Focus because I got. I'm gonna give you and Coops a lift. I'm like, oh, come in the, come in the Focus. Uh, yeah, we'll put the upcoming game of Kiko Flores. Uh, yeah, you blew it all out of proportion. It seems like Kiko Flores' main intent to rile you up. Uh, perfectly calm and focused on the match ahead. Not prepared to talk about that. Do Santadic, don't want to risk him. There we go. Hashtag team focus. Ronald Koeman wants the Chelsea job as well. Porto mate Pellebid. 2.7 million? Fuck off. Not a chance. Can't make that non negotiable as well. No. Premier League registration window. I don't need to register anyone, do I? No. No, you and Coots probably wouldn't fit in, in the Merc, considering there's only one other seat. When I have to pick just one of you up, I'll take the Merc. Although, would you be right with the bucket seats? I was thinking, thinking about this the other day. Would you be right with the bucket seats in the Merc? Or would that be painful? The job is secure right now. The job is secure right now. You don't have Nando's over there, but you had it a year back when you visited London. Ah, Nando's OP. Nando's OP. Unpopular opinion, Fifty Shades was the best porn ever. Mm, wasn't even porn, mate. It was just a Randy book. Or Randy three books. Benteke. Sign Benteke, whatever the price. Really? Because he's been playing loads of football and looks like he's going to be fantastic. I'm not so sure. Christian Benteke looks like he would be another Graziano Pella. Big lump but don't do anything. I'm not looking to the out of favour Christian Benteke. I don't want Christian Benteke. Maybe it's just your American taste buds. Maybe. Maybe you, because a lot of you're just in America you're just used to everything being fried, so Really? You're manager at Rio Vallecano right now, Paco, and you want the Chelsea job. That's a bit brave, especially when you've got a win percentage of 26%. The man that's 16th in La Liga is like, I'll take the Chelsea job. Take me. Food in the USA is better than food in the UK. It depends. Some food in the US is better and some food over here is better. Uh, we haven't signed anyone so far in the January window, Lloyd, because it's the 2nd of January. <laughs> We've had a day and a half. Chicken's good for diabetics anyway, protein. Well, there you go. <laughs> right, we got Watford, who are 6th. Watford are having a mad season. Chill out, lads. Have we played Watford yet? We have. We beat them 1-0. I don't remember playing Watford. You like pina colada. Boom, boom. Get me going in the rain. I'll play Alvarez Blanter again. He played very well against Chelsea. Vicky, Vicky Wanyama, James Wall Prowse. Do you play Mane? Oh, I'm going to start Shane Long. Oh, Steve Davis is injured, isn't he? Ah, oh, shite. Actually, no, we'll just play Correa. And then Jay Rodriguez. Oh, no, Charlie Austin's injured, isn't he? Shit. Graziano Pella starts up top. In before he puts in an absolutely worldy performance. Jordi Classy, Oriol Romeo, Sadio Mane, and then no one else down here is actually fit, are they? No. So we'll go with Matthew Target. Your fast food places are better than the British ones. I don't know. Maybe. They're a lot more they're a lot saltier though. A 
playing a Ketchianya as a right winger. Okay. Okay. Well, they relax, play a natural game, and the result will come. Uh, I've never eaten Turkish or Greek food, so I can't say as I have an opinion, to be honest. I would have started Shane Long up front if Steven, da Steven Davis was fit. Then I'd have... Oh, great. Well done, lads. Give away a penalty after one minute. Yeah. Kebab is Turkish, but kebabs in, made in this country won't taste anything like they do in Turkey. Yeah, portions in America are better. But you can have a meat you like just have a medium meal in America and it's like a super size over here. Fast food in America is way faster. Yeah, that's not necessarily a good thing though. Nando's isn't South African, bro. Nando's is Portuguese. Hey everyone. <laughs> uh, one pound donation from Kershen1997 says, Hi Chase, just wanted to say thanks as the My Health video has really helped her understand a bit more on me as she was diagnosed last week. Oh, I remember you saying, Kirsten, about your mum. I'm glad that she's actually been able to get a diagnosis, obviously, uh, or oh, Pella scored. Obviously, send her my best. It's not nice that she's uh, suffering from me, but it's nice to know that uh, the video is, you know, given some, or shed some light on the uh, condition for her. Hopefully she's able to get a quick recovery, bro. Like I say, give him my best. But thank you for the donation, my man. Have a burger dipped in... Oh, I've got timed out. Have a burger dipped in Fanta, add melted curly whirly, add Nando's chicken equals greatness. Eh, I'm not so sure. Italian food, I'd say, is the best. Yeah, I much prefer Italian food to anything else. Pizza and lasagna, OP. Square that, Cedric. Someone's waiting. To... No, square it. Pass it. Pass it. Don't shoot three times. Fucking hell. Three times from a tight angle when you got someone stood there waiting to put it into the back of an empty net. Are you sure? Don't piss me off, mate. You're fucking right back. Uh, do I reckon Birmingham will get to the playoffs? I don't know, bro. I've not been paying too much attention to the championship this year. All I know is that Hull and Hull, Middlesbrough, and Burnley are fighting it out for top spot. Other than that, I haven't been paying too much attention. I'm not really too sure. Domino's or Pizza Hut? Personally, oh wow, Michello. Personally, I'd say Pizza Hut, but I know a lot of people prefer Domino's. I do prefer Pizza Hut pizza, though. I've not had a Papa John's. The, the nearest Papa John's is, like, 20 minutes away, and they don't deliver out to me, out to where I live, so... Uh, keep going out there, we can still win today. So I've, n I've never had Papa John's. Domino's isn't soggy, but Domino's is, gr is greasy, yeah. Making me hungry now. We had just had a burger from Byron Burger that was so good. The burgers at Byron Burger are out of this world. Like, the, you don't even know you're eating meat. It just melts in your mouth. It's that good. Would I rather live in the UK or the USA? <sighs> I 
Like, mm. it's difficult because I get paid in dollars, or not entirely, but the main part of my income that comes in is dollars. Yes, Shane Long. But football's here, and London is the best city in the world, in my opinion. So I'd say, I'll say UK. I'd rather stay in the UK, but have a better currency conversion rate. Yeah, the ball by Bertrand there was ridiculous. That was such a good delivery. Would I rather live in the UK or US? No, if Donald Trump gets elected, I won't even visit the States on holiday. How have you let that in? Oh, for fuck's sake, Stakelenburg. London ain't got anything on LA or NYC. No, see, I've been to New... I don't know about LA. I've not been to LA. But I've been to New York, and New York is incredible, but London's better. You've already told me if I move to the US, you're coming with me. I've, If YouTube continues to do well for me over the next two or three years, I will genuinely consider emigrating to the States. Like, genuinely consider emigrating to the East Coast of the States. If, if Trump gets elected, you'll swim to London from New Jersey. He's going to score this, isn't he? Come on, for fuck's sake. We can't beat Chelsea and then lose to fucking Watford. Although, to be fair, Watford are higher in the, higher in the table, so maybe we can. Belanta's having a terrible game. I was like, oh, play Belanta because he did really well against Chelsea. Great. Shotgun coming with me. East Coast represent. I'd probably move somewhere like Boston. I'd, I'd definitely move East Coast because I want to be nearer to UK, as near to UK time as possible. But I definitely, I'd, I'd move to like Boston. I mean, I have heard good things about Pittsburgh, not just from you and JoJo, Sarah. I have heard good things about Pittsburgh. I'd love to I'd love to live in Manhattan, but it's so it would be so expensive. I'd love to live in Manhattan, but at the same time I don't want to live in an apartment. Like if I if I move somewhere I want a house. I want a detached house. I don't want I don't want an an apartment or a flat. I want my own detached house. Pittsburgh's supposedly pretty decent, yeah. Sarah and uh, her friend Jojo live in Pittsburgh and they love it. I've got a friend that lives in Ohio that is at uni in Maine, Massachusetts. Uh, and she says that Pittsburgh's decent and she enjoys... She, also recommends Boston as a potential destination. But, I don't know. If I do, if, big if, if I do ever emigrate, move into, emigrate to the States, it won't be for another two or three years because I need, like, I've only been able to have a full time income with YouTube for one year so far, for 12 months. I need to be at a stage where I'm, I'm earning a really good full time wage on, on a long term basis before I can even contemplate moving. Before they'd even fucking let me in the country, let alone contemplate moving. Like, let me in the country to stay. Pochettino responds to transfer talk. You're not getting James Ward Prowse, I tell you that much. You can get fucked. Not a chance you're getting James Ward Prowse. Uh, I'm 27, Michael.
Trump wouldn't let me in. Lol. Look, Shakhtar. It's not, it's not enough. If, if these were negotiable... If this was negotiable, I'd probably accept... I'd probably be keen to up it a little bit and get some more money. But it's non-negotiable. I don't want to just... What's he on a week, Pella? He's on £37,000 a week. Do I accept this? Or do I leave it? Or do I wait for a better offer? Wait for your re wait for your reactions. I will do a setup video, Giardino. I need to redo my setup though, or well, not necessarily redo it. I just need to rearrange my room. Uh, the majority of the uh, people in the in the chat are saying reject, so we will reject and say the offer is not good enough, and I hope for a better one. Um, Timo Horn's out with an injury. Mm, we were interested in picking him up, not anymore. Uh. Rodrigo Mora. I don't know, man. I don't know. Nicholas Ladero. Hmm. Yoshida. Ah. What was I saying about Maya Yoshida? You're not going to get a lot of first team football, Maya. That's the that's the problem. So I have Balanta, I have Jose Fonte, I have Virgil Van Dijk. I could sell Yoshida and then maybe look for like a youngster, like m maybe go for Mamana. How old is Mamana? He's on loan at Olympiacos, but I could maybe go for Mamana. Let's sell Maya Yoshida and go for Mamana. He's on my yeah, he's on my shortlist, isn't he? Who else is on my shortlist just out of curiosity? Tomovic. He's twenty eight. Pardon me. Although he's having a very good season. Say do Kata we can remove. Uh Borja we will keep on there. Triusi, I'm not so sure about. Although he's only nineteen. I'll leave him there. Uh, Alario, oh, he's smashed the goals in this season. He's still young. Oh, he's only he's twenty three. He's a little bit older than I thought. Well, we'll, we'll remove him. Uh, Malcolm is another youngster that we were thinking about going in for, and we still could. Maybe in the summer. Not the sort of player that I'm looking to buy right now. Santi Mina, again, not the sort of player that I'm looking to buy right now, but he would be good. Those could potentially be quite expensive. Timo Horn I can remove. Tomovic and Vida. Who's this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He looks incredible, but he's 8.5 million. Is he, was he transfer listed? He's not. Benfica, Liverpool, PSG and ourselves. I, pff, it'd be too expensive, though. Let me scroll up a little bit. What were you guys saying about Maya Yoshida? Do you think I should let him go? What do you reckon I should do with Maya Yoshida? I'm I'm thinking letting him about letting him go. I know I'm part of squad rotation, but even so, you haven't been giving me anywhere near as much football. Hey, 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 You reckon yes, sell Yoshida. And what, and go for a youngster? Go for a promising youngster that's already decent enough. I think that will be what the... Uh, I think that will be the plan. I'll move him on. I don't want to leave the club. I'm happy to wait for my chance. All right. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't want to leave... 
then we would need to look for a replacement. But I think Mamana is, I think Mamana is the obvious replacement. They want twelve. Let me get a better scout report. I want a more detail. I can't see all of his stats. I want a more detailed scout report on him. That's the thing. Just because he's Japanese isn't a reason to sell him. Jesus. Calm down. Santiago Arias. Yeah, you were bought in as a backup, though. That's the thing. You were bought in as backup. You are down as rotation. You have played. Well, nine games, I suppose. Only one in the BPL. He's played a lot in Europe, though. I'm struggling to believe that a new signing such as myself cannot be accommodated more readily in the first team. Unfortunately, Cedric's playing too well. Cedric has been playing really well. Facing contract stale, mate. Uh, no. Great! Well, I don't have a choice whether to... Oh. I don't have a choice whether or not to start Fraser Forster because now my other goalkeeper, I'm going to have to call Gazaniga back up, aren't I, from the bloody reserves. For fuck's sake. Right, I'm just going to save it quickly and go to the toilet and go for a quick wee and then we'll come back and uh, attack the transfer window a little bit more. BLB. Yo, I got another bottle of water and a fruit winder. Cause why the hell not? You'll know. Right. So what's the sitch? What's the sitch? 
We want him to replace Graziano Pella. With who yet, we don't know. Bow, bow, bow. Bow. Hey, everyone. <laughs> just, got a, just got a donation. Bear with me. I'll have a look in a second. Hey. Uh, no, you won't get ads, Giardino, because you're a subscriber. Twitch subscribers don't get ads. At least you, uh, you're not supposed to. Uh, we just got a donation though. It says it's a one pound again from uh, Mix. It says if Bernie Sanders gets elected, I let you live with me. <laughs> Can I finally be a mod, or am I too gangster for you, Ches Nizzle? A Moon seventy three just subscribed. Thank you very much, Moons. Appreciate that, bro. Feel free to uh, let me know your Twitter handle in the chat if you'd like to uh, get a follow on Twitter, as that's the main uh, subscriber perk. Let me add that to the tally on the uh, overlay as well. We're up to 112. Uh, stream overlay, 112. There we go. You get ads, do you, Sarah? You shouldn't do. Because you're a subscriber. You're supposed to not get ads. We just got another donation. Bear with me. I'm still up. I'm, let me just stop late. This overlay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, it's a pound from Mix again. It says, and those are called fruit roll-ups in America. They're the fruit winders. Like, you know what? Are they Kellogg's? Yeah, Kellogg's fruit winders. They're so good. Oh look, fruit roll-ups. Yeah, they're basically the same. And they're not quite as big, I don't think. They're so good, though. So good. They're just like instant sugar rush. Oh, no worries, Moons. Thank you for the subscription, though. I appreciate that, my man. Very kind. All right, so we want to replace Andre Gray. We want to replace Andre Gray. We want to replace Graziano Pella. Now that I've seen Andre Gray in the chat and I've said his name out loud, let's have a look at Andre Gray. Got 10 goals in 24 in the championship for Burnley this season. Was outstanding for Luton. Did all right for Brentford. Not sure whether he's cut out for the Premier League just yet, though. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised you can't have him. Too much sugar. Oh, you must... Be, well, it doesn't It doesn't give everyone an ad every time, uh, Giardino. So maybe it was just... Maybe it was just a one-off that you didn't get an ad. I tell you what, Genie Wine Elden might be a decent sell. Although, he doesn't play up top, does he? We don't really need anyone uh, in that position. Because I've got... He's so expensive as well. He's so expensive. We've got Dusan Tadic and Stephen Davis and James Ward-Prowse for those positions. And Dusan Tadic is equally as good. Doesn't get as many assists as he should. But Dusan Tadic is incredible. You've never had ads. Oh, that's weird. Have you got ad block though, Giardino? Do you have ad block installed? Oh, good shout. I never thought about a Ben Yedder. I don't even know how good Ben Yedder is on FM. Five goals in 21 games. He's only little, though, isn't he? Five foot seven. I'm not sure whether he'd be well suited to the BPL on FM. Like, on FIFA, I can kind of get around how small he is. Because... Yes, he's banging me for two loose. And then in the save, he actually hasn't. Let's get a scout report on him. Uh... Uh, you don't have such... Oh, you're watching on your phone. I'm not sure that uh, the ads work on phones all the time. Well, why have I searched for Jordan Rhodes? Jordan Rhodes. He's at Middlesbrough. 
He's, oh, of course he is. He's just moved there in the January transfer window in real life, hasn't he? He's only scored three, though, in four starts and 11 substitute appearances. Why are they not starting Jordan Rhodes? Who's banging the goals in for them? No one, really. I mean, Stuani's got nine. They're getting goals from a lot of different people, though, aren't they? Look, Stuart Downey's got six. They're playing 4-2-3-1. They are fourth. So they're doing all right in the league, although they're in a bit of a bad spell of form. They're just getting goals from a lot of different places. Which is the way you want it, really. You don't want to be relying on one person to score your goals, which is kind of what we've done. Although, to be fair, Shane Long has 7 in 18. Although, maybe... Maybe we could use Shane Long as striker and look for a winger instead. A right-sided midfielder. Because, I mean, we could play Shane Long up top. Apparently, Shane Long's the best striker we've got. Why Charlie Austin isn't on that list? As he should be. Apparently, Charlie Austin's the fifth best striker at the club, according to my coaches. I don't think so, though. Maybe we should look for a right-sided midfielder, though. But we got Sadio Mane. Although he's always bloody injured. Plays well, though. See if we can if we keep everybody fit, we're fine. I'd want a youngster though. I wouldn't want an out and out first team because we already have great players. I'd want someone that is happy being a rotation player for the time being. I mean I'll get a scout report on Nathan Redmond, because he is a good player, I do rate him. Joel Campbell, maybe? I mean I could have a look at Joel Campbell. Oh, clicked on fucking team meeting, didn't I? Where? He's good, but is he good enough? I mean, he doesn't need to be amazing right now, does he? Because, like I say, he's going to be... Uh, well, Pione Sisto is the go-to. Pione Sisto is very, very obvious. I don't necessarily want to get the obvious choice, because then you just end up signing the same players as everyone else. I can have a look at Leroy Sané, although he too is a bit obvious, and I signed him at West Ham. We just got a donation, I'll check that in a second. Sané does look pretty good. Although he's... Mm, at 19, for 19, he looks pretty good. Who have we got on the um, on the shortlist in those positions? Nobody really. Well, Malcolm. I could maybe get Malcolm in. Although apparently he's... He's better on the left. I don't really need a left-sided. No intention of joining, apparently. We got a donation, though, didn't we? Let me check that. Uh, uh, it's a pound from Mix against this Solly March. Let's have a look at Solly March. He's at Brighton, isn't he? Solly March. Yes. Solly March of Brighton Football Club. Brum, brum, brum. It's got another, another donation. I'll check that in a sec. I'll get a scout report on Solly March. I'm not. Ugh. We got a better. There are definitely better options, though. Definitely better options. Uh, three pound donation from Giardino it says, "Could you maybe take a look at my YouTube channel later this week? Feel free to link me on Twitter, Giardino. Link me on Twitter, bro. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate that." Julian Brandt, we could have a look at. Julian Brandt from spell it properly, Ches. There you go, from Leverkusen. He's not starting for him. Intriguing. Intriguing. Uh, Kennedy, not so sure. Zivkovic. Ziv. Type in the right bit, Chess. Zivkovic. Andrea Zivkovic? Because you're just saying Zivkovic, so presumably you mean Andrea as a wide player. I'll tell you what, for 19 years of age, because you got the. Uh, the other Zivkovic from Ajax, haven't you? This is the striker, Ruchero. Christ, 11 in 11. You sure, mate? He could be a good young striker to bring in as a potential um, Pella replacement. Although, 
the go-to would be Zach Clough. Still at Bolton. He's only scored eight, though. I'll get a scout report on him. Uh, Gabriel Barbosa is at Tottenham. I think they signed him. Gabriel B. Uh, uh. Gabriel Barbosa. Yeah, he's gone to Tottenham. Because he scored against us, unfortunately, Gabriel Barbosa. They've paid £8 million for him. Is that it? And he's now valued at 18 Oh, shit. Has Santos got anyone else we can poach? Lucas Lima looked decent, didn't he? Although he's 25, I don't really need a cam. Although, could maybe do with a cam. Ricardo Oliveira. 35. Jeeps. Jeeps. Scored a lot of goals, though, in his career. Uh, ah, Thiago Maia is a good player. I'll definitely get a scout report on him. He could be a potential... But we have young players. That's the thing. We don't necessar necessarily have an ageing squad. And we have a lot of players that are in their mid, t early to mid-20s. There's only people like Jose Fonte that are actually that little bit older. Look, general info. Age, 33. Mid-20s, young 20s, 32. Mid twenties. Everyone, everyone is in their mid twenties. You've got Stephen Davis who's thirty one, then everyone else is in their mid twenties, apart from Pella, who we're looking to move on anyway. That's the thing, Southampton has such a good squad, there's no real need to replace anyone. I don't we'd end up making tra transfers for the sake of making transfers, and I don't want to do that. I would like to bring in a younger replacement for e either a young replacement for Pella or a young replacement for Shane Long moving to striker, so a young replacement out wide. My manner. Yeah, see, I, I would really, really like to bring in my manner for, Yoshi, for Yoshida. But really, would you accept? Would you accept Yoshida? Would you want? Would you want Maya Yoshida? Maybe. Let's make an offer. Andre Gray. Mm. Yeah, well, we weren't sure about him. Genie Wan Eldon would be a quality signing. I agree. Also, apparently, has no intention of joining us, and he's also bloody expensive. Ben Yedda. Could play out wide, although not to any great effect. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I know you're really good on FIFA, but are you that good on FM? Nathan Redmond. Norwich are unlikely to want to sell the player. I'm not surprised. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Make an inquiry. Tell me what you want from him. Joel Campbell. Mm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Ibrahim Traore from Mooch and Gladback. We could have a look. No intention of joining on a permanent basis, really. Are you sure? Okay. Leroy Sané. Whoa, apparently he's unbelievable. Well, that's at left mid. What about attacking right? Attacking right would be... Really? Is he that good already? Damn! Leroy Sonny! I didn't want to do it, I wanted to click that. He's also going to be forking expensive, suggest terms. 80 million! Goodbye! See you later, ta ta! Malcolm. Yeah, see, I really like the look of this kid. Because Jerry Rodriguez could play on the right, can't he? Not as effective on the right. Oh, fuck. Malcolm. Malcolm looks sick. At 18 years of age. You're mad. He looks so good. He looks so good. He's just so expensive. Sonny March, meh. Sonny March is meh. Are you going to play the Borough save anymore? Uh, yeah, we were. At we we've moved from Borough to West Ham, or you've said, or was it West Brom? We'll, we'll probably go back to it at some point. I want to concentrate on this save for a little bit, though, because we spent nine seasons in that save. 
Yeah, uh, for her. Extremely interested in joining our club. Julian Brandt would be phenomenal. 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 I tell you what, I'll give you Shane, no not Shane Long, I'll give you Graziano Pella and some pennies. Transfer listed? Why is he transfer listed? What? Why are they trying to get rid of him? Is he transfer listed by request? No, it would say transfer listed by request, wouldn't it? Why are they getting rid of Julian Brandt? What are you doing? Zarate. Zarate is... I know, fantastic, from doing the... Uh, oh, he's at Fiorentina now, isn't he? Bollocks. We know that Zarate is really good from doing um, the, fo the fantasy drafts with you guys, with the subs on Sub Sunday. I'm going to get a scout report on Mara, Mara Zarate. Oh, I don't want to give you 17.5 million, though. How about 5 plus... Plus Graziano Pella? Well, see what they say. Who else have we got? Zivkovic. Uh, they reckon no. They reckon no to Zivkovic, Andrea. It's just strange because I would have said there wasn't much difference between him and Malcolm. Really. At a glance. Uh, other Zivkovic, Mare, Zach Clough, Mare. Tiago Maya, on the other hand, yes, but don't need him, do we? Because we've got so many players. I could maybe s move on Oriol Romeu and get Maya instead. But we just bought Romeu for 5 million. I'll add him to the shortlist. Oh yeah, of course it's public. Loan report. Anyone doing really well? Ryan Seager's doing alright. Sam Gallagher's doing alright. I could have a look at Renato Sanchez. But I don't need a set. I just don't need a centre mid. That's, that's the thing. Benteke tempted by Southampton. Is he really? Why did you keep offering me fuck all for Graziano Pella? I want more up front. I want more up front. And I'll accept. Give me more now and I will accept. James Ward Prowse is the best right mid, yeah, but he's also one of the best central midfielders. He's be he's Ward Prowse is just fantastic wherever I decide to play him, so. Oh, they weighed 80 million, didn't they? Yeah. Not happening. Why can he be a useful signing? See, Mara Zarate's really good. Oh, Mauro Zarate. I love Mauro Zarate. I think he's fantastic. <sighs> Do we take the plunge with Zarate? Like, sell Pella, replace him with Zarate. How tall is he? 5'9". Just to... Because... Yeah. A lot of people are saying no. I like Mauro Zarate though. He scored loads of goals for us at West Ham. Remember? Mauro Zarate! A lot of people are saying no. Alright. Alright, we won't get Zarate. For the record, that makes me sad. But I won't get Maro Zarate if the majority of you don't want me to. Just because he's played for QPR doesn't mean it's a bad thing. He's played for QPR, for God's sake. Alvaro Vidio is decent. Or at least he is on Thief. we get a scout report on him. He's not really playing, is he? Uh, there was another name in the chat. Oh, yeah, Renato Sanchez. We're going to look at him, aren't we? Renato Sanchez. Get a scout report. He's only on 1.8 grand a week. Fucking hell. You can have more than that here, mate. Although I don't need him. I don't need him. I don't need a centre mid. 
Uh, I sound like Mr. Bean. Are you sure? Are you sure? They've dismissed my inquiry about Nathan Redmond. Well, fuck off. What about if I just... Make an offer. Suggest terms. 57. Yeah. They're not, I'm there. I don't stand a chance of getting Nathan Redmond. Not without paying major bucks. I don't have major bucks. Uh, they've rejected that. They seem as an indispensable member of the squad. So indispensable that they've sent him out on loan to Olympiakos. Fucking pricks. How about... 4 million plus Maya Yoshida. How about 4 million now plus another... 2... Over 36 months. Union Brandbid rejected. But man, he'd be so good. He'd be so good. Seven and a half now. And then another three, maybe. Actually, how about four now and six over 36 months? Just. Mm. 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 Jorge Mera, who's that? Who's that? Who's Jorge Mera? Who are you? Send back at Sporting. 18 years of age, we'll get a scout report. Looks alright, but he's out for a, with a, for a while with a broken foot. I, I think I'd rather Mamana. Renato Sanchez, no interest in joining. Gut says I'm surprised, to be honest. Starting every week at Benfica is better than starting every week at Southampton. 15 on long shots, no surprise there. He's scored an absolute cracker or two in his career so far already. Oh, I'd love to bring him in though, I just don't have the funds. Consortium pull plug, sorry Villa, at least you can buy players again now. Stop rejecting my offer for my mana. Um, how about that? You need brand be rejected. Piss off. Mira. Mm. Could grow really well. Sporting are unlikely to want to sell the player. I think there are better options out there. Maman is definitely better. Talvan we could have a look at. i tell you who I do like the look of. Is... Um, I can't his bloody name now. Remy Cabela. Dilemma for Thiago Maia. South of oh, a move to Southampton would be too good to turn down. Would it really, Sunshine? I may be interested. What do you want for him? 21 million? No, you're not having 21 million. But it would be really good, though. It would be really good, though. How about two and a half plus Oriol Romeo? How's that sound? Exchange player. Hammers. <gasps> <gasps> I don't want Hazus Hammers, thank you, Atleti. Is he still at Atleti? Yes, he's still at Atleti. Stop. Come on. Tom Lees, have a word. Fear Sanchez threat. I too fear the threat of Alexis Sanchez. Uh, what would the drivers want to do better? Speculation about Victor Wanyama's contract. Yeah, nothing of note has occurred so far. You must be intent on gaining a measure of revenge. Don't have anything to say about that. I'm not going to say they've got a weak link, because whenever you do, they normally score 17 goals against you.
You got my mana for like four million at the start. You're safe. Yeah, I think it doesn't help that we're like six months down the line now. Udinese mate Pellebid. Just oh please, just give me just give me more money up front. I'll offer him I'll offer him out again at less, at lower, and hopefully someone will Hopefully someone will give me four point three up front. I'll take four point three up front. Could have a look at Nabil Fakir. Could have a look at Nabil Fakir. Actually, that might be a good shout because he could play it up top, out wide, or. Oh, yeah, but it wasn't acceptable from Udinese, was it? So piss off. Oh, Fakir would be really good, but I'd have to pace through the nose to get him. Hearts. Uh, offers made. Ah, ha, ha, ha! Accept! Thank you. Ah, do I send him to Norwich? Oh, fuck it. We're in the first team clubs. Reject. Not good enough. I've accepted one now. I've accepted one now. Actually, how much do we how much do we get from if he turns down Udinese now if he turns down their contract I'll be pissed what do we what do we what do we keep ninety percent all right ninety percent's decent I'll take that who's Rebic? oh shit they accepted the offer from Mamana yes Back up, dubious, okay, rotation then. Agent fee 1.2 million? No, you're a dick. Minimum fee release clause, 24 million. Yeah, I can cope with that, actually. Let's up that a little bit to 28 and lock it in. Oh, piss off. You're just being greedy. Just being greedy, but his agent's just being greedy because I'm not giving him the money he wanted up front. Dickhead! Tiago Meyer bid rejected. Okay. How about 5 million plus Oriol Romeo? Interview sees Emery, Unai Emery, really? We got Arsenal in the FA Cup. We'll play Arsenal and just offer them close to what they want. Yeah, I could, but we don't have that much to it. That's the thing. The amount of money we have wage wise isn't that much. If I want to get multiple deals done, I can't just throw all of it at one player. <sighs> Fraser Force is going to start his first game. Mr. Fonte. Balanta played like shite last time out, so he's not starting. Bertrand's playing well, though. He's in good form. Vicky. Although Vanyama needs to really step up his performances. James Ward Prowse. Shane Long on the right. Uh, oh, Dusan Tadic is back. Oh, Dusan Tadic is back. He's back, his stand. Kuko Martina. Balanta. Uh, oh, oh, do I start Arias, though? I'm going to start Arias. I feel bad not playing him. Mane. Classy. Correa. 
Kingsley Coman's on loan first season, so I'd never get him. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's cool that you send me a... Like I say, Giardino, feel free to DM me on Twitter. I'll have a look at it after I finish streaming. Uh, Cedric, he's just being rested. Tone roll deserves a chance. And we did just... Assertively. Yeah, go on, lads. Don't do what you did with it. Well, no, I'm going to definitely try not to do what I did with Kalecci in the other save. Oh, Bertrand, that was a terrible ball. Lingard or, Ra Lingard or Rashford, nah. Not good enough. Please don't score. I asked nicely. Bollocks. You got Steam off FM at half price and it brought a virus to your computer. You wouldn't have gotten the virus from the Steam download, bro. I guarantee you the virus won't have come from Steam. Yarmolenko has a cheap release fee. I could have a look at Yarmolenko. If you've got a cheap release fee, you might be perfect. Come on, Jimmy. Do Santanic back in the starting lineup. We know you can put a good ball in, uh, Bertrand. Uh, I, that's the thing. I don't need. I don't need a central midfielder. Even if we get the offer accepted for Thiago Maia, I'm not sure I'm going to follow up on it. I'd rather, I'd rather strengthen elsewhere first. Now Gnabry is not good enough. Cheers, Joe. You're awesome too. I tell you what, Birdman, Bakambu could be a good shout actually. I don't know how good it... No, don't they're going to go... Oh, I saw that coming a fucking mile off. Adama Traore. Nah, not keen. Not keen on Adama Traore. Could you use James Will Prowse on the right and get uh, a centre mid? But we got. I mean, Sadio Mane can play on the right. I know I haven't been starting him, but it's only because he's trying to force a move. If I can keep him and turn his morale around. We might go a little bit more direct. and square it back and pull it back well not there though <sighs> L back to A isn't necessarily of the standard needed for the Premier League I'm afraid I apologise Sucks that we weren't able to get Fraser Forster a clean seat on his return to the first team, but never mind. Santi. Oh, oh. You want it now? In before three. Finish from Theo Walcott, to be fair. Yeah, we looked at his stats earlier, though, Sarah. He's just still not good enough. 
He'd be good enough for League Two. But not much higher, I wouldn't have thought. I don't need a goalkeeper, Sambrook. I don't need to look at Alisson. Alisson. Andre Green from AV. AV. Who's a Who's oh, Aston Villa. Presumably, if you say AV. Andre Green. I don't recognise the name. Oh, how have you missed that, Jay Rodriguez? How can we be expected to get a decent result when you can't even put the ball in from two yards out? <sighs> Rebib. Dusan Tadic hasn't had the best of returns to the first team. Charlie Austin's playing like dirt. I'm going to put Sadio Mane on up top. Alisson is a goalkeeper. Well, the Alisson I bought on, at West Ham was a goalkeeper. He was already four and a half stars for League Two at Cambridge before the winter update when you bought him. He's probably good enough for League One now then, isn't he? He's definitely not good enough for the Championship, though. Judging by the stats that we looked at earlier. He might be able to get you, like, five or six goals in the Championship. Unless you utilise him really well with tactics. He could just be a great poacher. But, I don't think... Cross it, maybe? Or just... How have we got a penalty there? I mean, I'll take it, but I'm not really too sure how we've got a penalty there. We missed it as well. Great. Great. Jack Grealish would be very expensive. I am a Chelsea fan, Joe, yes. Cambridge United and Chelsea. In that order. Come on, play it over... No, we've just missed the last couple of penalties. We played well in that game, we just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. Apparently everybody wants Cuco Martino on loan. Okay. You just accepted that a minute ago. Oh, I'm going to give up on Maya. Offering me Fellaini. Mawam Fellaini. I'll get a scout report on him, but I really don't see myself buying Fellaini, to be honest. Ah, yes, Yarmolenko was a play we were going to have a look at, wasn't it? Yarmolenko. Pellegrini could leave Man City. Yarmolenko. What is his release fee clause? I'm not sure. He's valued at 22. He doesn't have a release fee. He doesn't. It, in the it must be in the update. In the update, he doesn't have a release fee clause. 
Well, that one's out the window. Konoplyanka. 27 and a half million. Fucking hell. That's a lot of money. Right, I think that'll do us for tonight because it's gone half past ten now. I send you over to raid someone though, so don't go anywhere. But feel free to uh, follow the Twitch channel if you haven't already. Actually, let me refresh the stream in front of me. Have we hit 28,000? We have. We've hit 28,000 followers. Thank you very much for 28,000 followers here on Twitch. I appreciate that. But feel free to follow me on Twitter if you don't already. And uh, you'll stay up to date with everything that goes on with me. Uh, but I will send you to raid someone. Let me just refresh uh, the football manager page so I can see who's live. So I know where to send you. Uh, oh, the... The people who run the uh, the actual network I'm on, on uh, on uh, Twitch are streaming, FM Scout. So head on over to them. I'll link them in the chat. Head on over to FM Scout and give them a cheeky Chesnoy gaming raid. They're, they're the, the people who uh, whose like, network I'm with on Twitch. You know that like you can have like groups of friends in a network. Well, I'm in the FM Scout network. So go over and give them a cheeky Chesnoy gaming raid. But for now, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, this stream will go live tomorrow morning. would we'll quickly say thank you to uh, Mix for the donation, Giardino for the donation, uh, Jay Moore for resubscribing, Kershen for the donation, and Moons for subscribing for the first time. Thank you very much. But for now, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>